What's up, motherfuckers? This is Vincent from the Acacia Strain, and you're watching Behind the Ink on pitcam.tv. God damn it. Hi, I'm Monica with Pitcam, and I'm here with Vincent from the Acacia Strain, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his tattoos. Go. All right, I'm going to start with my hands. I have homesick on my knuckles. Because I'm home, away from home so much, uh, I really do get homesick. And it's this weird cycle that I go through where it's like, I'm on tour, I miss home. I'm home, I miss tour. It's, it's terrible. Don't, just don't do it. Um, I have two carrier pigeons on my hands, carrying, each carrying half of a letter. Um, and it kind of just represents, you know, life journey. You know, this, this pigeon had a really... They had the same journey, you know. This pigeon, you know, got it easy. Blew through it, no problem, 100% intact. This pigeon had a rough time, you know. His wings, wings are broken as the arrows through his head. And, and it, it just kind of represents, you know, sometimes you can breeze through stuff and sometimes life just throws you a curveball and just bums you out. Um, I have a Metroid on my, I don't know, bicep? that I just really like that video game it's one of my favorites I'm a I'm a giant geek and I love video game tattoos so I have a bunch of them look this is done by my, my fiance she tattoos her name's Ashley uh, she did this 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 um, a lot of my video game tattoos she did that cause tattoo on the uh, <laughs> back of my back of my elbow because he's one of my favorite artists and his art is too expensive, so I figured I'd just put it on my body. Um, Jason, his, uh, it's one of my favorite horror movies. I'm big into horror films. <laughs> <laughs> his machetes are crossed in an X because I'm straight edge. It's kind of like a little. Cool. Um, what else? I have this one I just got before I left. It's uh, the Mishka Eyeball. Mishka is a clothing company that kind of sponsors my band, they're really good people, good friends of mine, so I figured I'd commemorate it for life. My girl, uh, my fiance did that one too, so, and then I obviously have the most hated 09. <laughs> we did a tour with a bunch of Christian bands and we were the outcasts, and we all got burning Bible tattoos tattooed on our, on our legs. Uh, what else? I have a Baphomet on my thigh, oh, that's pretty cool. done by Patrick at Cobra Chrome Tattoo. He works at Hubba Hubba Tattoo now in New Orleans. I mean, I've always, I've always liked the Baphomet. Uh, I know it's kind of a symbol of uh, the Illuminati. It's been linked to Illuminati and stuff like that. I don't care, I just like, maybe the, I like the devil. <laughs> and then I have my dog, I have my dog tattooed on my leg. Yeah, that's right, you like dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's my dog Coco. My, my fiance did that one too. She's a Boston Terrier pug mix. And uh, she, her, her middle name is Peanut, so that's why we got the, <laughs> the Peanut. I have this America tattoo because every time I come to Europe, I get, I just get bummed out. No offense to you guys, it's just I miss home. And I love America, and I love cheeseburgers, and what better <laughs> represents the gluttony of America than a giant cheeseburger? <laughs> My fiance did that one also. Oh, I got a ton. This is one done by my friend Greg. Uh, I collect toys. So does my, my girlfriend slash fiance. She has the same tattoo on her leg. Um, it's a dunny. And I like trash talk, so I got that. I don't know. I have a ton more. I could keep going. I have a <laughs> cockfight on this thigh because I front a, a negative hardcore band slash joke hardcore band called Cock Punch. And kind of got this because whatever fuck it you know <laughs> um i don't know what else three x's on my shin cool because i'm straight edge i filled it with the louis vuitton print but i put my initials instead of his because fuck i don't need louis vuitton's initials on my leg <laughs> forever and you got something back here don't you oh i have a um <laughs> The Illuminati eye with two cross keys. Uh, it says none of us are necessary because, you know, being 
the way I am. I don't really believe that humanity has a point on the earth. So that's for that. It's also an Unbroken Wings lyric because I like those guys. They're just good friends of mine. So what do you have here? this is my uh, sharks coming out of a coffin. Just got that because I don't know why. It's because I wanted my neck, my throat tattooed, and I had to think of something that wasn't a fucking butterfly, <laughs> like everyone else has. Um, I got the diamond too because I like diamonds. I have uh, I have a strangest clothing company called Diamond Cut, so that's, that's why cool. I got that. And uh, I'm never gonna be able to get a job ever <laughs> doing anything besides this. So bands for life. Yeah. Do you have a lightsaber as well? Oh yeah, that goes through. Starts here, goes through my neck to the other side. Did you know that Matt from Bring Me the Rice has? I got someone told me that like three days after I got it, and I was like, "All right, whatever." <laughs> <laughs> I got like I got a lightsaber through my neck. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. That's one side. What is that? A lightsaber from oh, on, a, yeah. on a Star Wars. And he goes through. He did so, yeah. and then it, oh, so. Just know I'm not a biter. I'm not like, oh, that'd be cool if I was just like that guy. But now I guess we're uh, we're bros for life. I don't even know the dude, but I guess we're bros for life now. What's his name, Matt? Matt, yeah. We're bros, Matt. <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> cool. What about this sleeve? Uh, this is my Star Wars sleeve. I got it started a long time ago. Dan Belcher at uh, Dead President's Lounge started it. Hopefully one of these days I'll get it finished, but it's just, I hate, I hate getting tattooed. So, this is a Star Wars space battle, because I fucking love Star Wars. I also have Mama's Boy tattooed right here, because I love my mom. And does you appreciate that one? Oh yeah, she cried when I got it, actually. Oh. So, 